my god. Oh, Doug just got ruined. <laughs> Mike just sprayed him. <laughs> oh, Doug definitely can't see. I don't. All right, howdy. And uh, today is the day, and I figured I'd go ahead and film the intro to this video before I forget. Uh, today's Rover Day. We're uh, just get two years in the making for the most part. Um, we're going to take this Rover and uh, a bunch of the other ones in the group, not all of them. Some Mine is the last um, surviving Rover from the Rover Rescue Series a couple years ago. It was actually featured recently on Haggerty. Um, as they're on their barn find hunter uh, reactions video. And actually my car is one of the ones that's featured on there, which is pretty neat. I probably should su submit my own videos, but you can check out Doug, Doug's Cars channel to, uh, to see that full video. But that's not what I'm here to talk about today. We're taking the 89 and a bunch of other rovers to a, a farm where we do the cheap car challenge, if you've seen my other videos. Um, and uh, it's about 70 miles up 95 by Port Royal, Virginia. And this is gonna be the test, if it can make it there and back. Um, I've done a lot of work to this truck to kind of get it prepped to really just do nothing, just drive. Um, I went all out, and I painted the floor, so now I'm definitely not gonna fall through. Oh yeah, not much floors there, people. This is uh, not an amazing idea, but uh, you know, I get the fire extinguisher, got a speaker. I mean, I'm basically ready to go. I mean, this thing can pretty much go to California now at this point. But no, you know, the goal is to get in these trucks. We're gonna meet um, down the street here and we're gonna spend the day out in the farm tooling around, doing some light off-roading. It's gonna be probably kind of wet and mucky. Um, and yeah, that's it. It's the, this is, forget Rover Re Rescue, it's about Rover Adventure now. So it's the, uh, it's the main voyage, so please stay tuned. All right, I'll fuel it up. Frank's ready to go. Cindy's excited. She was gonna drive separately, but for some reason wants to come with me. Bad, bad choice. Um, Frank, what do you think? They're gonna break down and we're gonna lose brakes again this time? I don't know, he doesn't seem too excited. All right, so we're off to meet everybody else. It's like eight gallons, so I don't know if my fuel economy is going up or down. We'll get it tallied up once we get up that way. Well, this guy is uh, passed out asleep in his car with a destroyed tire. All right, here's the current lineup. We're almost ready to take off here, waiting for a couple more trucks. Uh, Tyler's D2, you got Leadbed's uh, D1 built. Really pretty truck, we'll see more of that later. You got Doug's LR3, my 88. So uh, yeah, we're just waiting for another Disco and a, uh, an eight, another 88 series. So almost ready here. <laughs> All right, so we got the rest of the crew here. I don't think you'll find a more interesting lineup of trucks. And uh, take it off here in a second. It's alive. Cranking through sand. <laughs> that is nice. Yeah, look, the, the rest of the party. <laughs> All right, so uh, RRC Cubby's Rover has started finally. There you go. We, oh, we got it. We have no idea why it didn't start, but we just got to send it. So we're going to keep heading on the journey. So that couldn't have started any better, honestly. All right, about to get on the big boy highway. First time in this one. Got a string of broken rovers behind us. All spread out. Formations. It's done. And uh, about to hit this merge at 55. I'm not I'm not pushing it at this time. Got a lot of driving to do, so out in open water. For those who don't own a, own a rover, they don't they don't get it, but we're doing it big this time. Alright, see so he can't cut it off because it might not cut back on. So we're out here like champ car at the ready for safety. We're doing it for safety, people. But uh, yeah, we made it a total of eight miles and uh, grabbing some gas. Then we're getting back in open waters. Wow, there's a 
is actually something a little slower on the road than we are. And uh, RVA River got a little bit of a head start. He's a little more aerodynamic than us, but he's also uh, a bit slower. But here she is. <sighs> All right, now we got the full line. I got the 97 Disco. Series truck. LR3. Tyler's D2. RC Cubbies, 88 and 89. Gorgeous day out here. So all the trails, again, this is not a technical trail area. This is just, you know, dirt roads and whatnot on this uh, really beautiful property out here in Maryland. We'll be touring around down that side and, uh, just, you know, having a good time. We're just actually glad we made it. That's what this exercise is all about, honestly. So we're doing this Top Gear's rules. He's gonna try to fire up the 88 again. If it doesn't work, he's riding in the Jeep. <laughs> oh! Oh! Yeah, they sound like it was it's alive! Cranking through sand. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you're riding in the Jeep. <laughs> All right, first rover down, green 88, starter shot. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a lap around the farm and then come back and take it apart and see if we can't get some life out of it. But uh, yeah, lap time. And we're off. It's the most hodgepodge group. Yeah, I think it's been concluded that I think uh, Jesse's Disco wins the uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> best looking award. Rover day. I wonder if 
the Jeep will make it through there back there. <laughs> I do. I've got. I've got water. Oh, what? Mike did this. Oh my god. <laughs> this is the one spot with this mud. <laughs> and Mike, Mike, for the only time, had tire. <laughs> <laughs> Almost stuck. This is the only spot of mud in the whole thing. You might want to move so we can get a, a running start. Wait, if you go straight, you can't go straight through? Let's go all the way back. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this is shitty, but this is hilarious at the same time. <laughs> I, this is a lot of mud. <laughs> I haven't done this since I haven't done this since high school. 
Yeah, I hope so. Yep, yep, I got your lights. <laughs> I hope the engine doesn't overheat because there's absolutely no cooling going on. Oh, that's why, that's why you got electric fans. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> yeah, we're drawing mud. Oh my god. Do it again. Was it really a bolt though? <laughs> All right, so it looked like the Jeep might be stuck too. Hold on. Oh, he does look very stuck. It looks. His head is like Oh stuck. boy. <laughs> <laughs> what? Stuck? What were you thinking? What? All right, second casualty was the Jeep. I have no idea why I went out there. <laughs> hey! Hey, you know what? That's a dick move, but it's good footage. It's a good video. Watch out, Doug, you might take the paint off it. All right, a little bit of the aftermath. Doug has uh, a broken windshield. Tyler almost got stuck. And this doesn't have a lot of trouble on his tires. The series did great, actually. Really is kind of in its element with the top down. Uh, Ross did not bring the Mercedes out. Uh, the 88. Yep. Lawn art right now. And uh, the rest of the crew did just fine. I think uh, I think all the mud we went through really sealed up the holes in my floor. Um, so I'm gonna have a lot, a lot less water intrusion at the moment. But other than that, no uh, no real issues. Doing doing pretty decent. Hopefully we'll go back out for round two. <laughs> Enter the fray.
a, today on Barn Find Hunter. Are they allowed to say no? Frank, get out of there. I think this is the route right here. Sure it is. <laughs> oh shit, there's so many. Oh, you got your hiking boots on. Whiskey. Look at the whiskey bottle. Frank, Frank. Frank. Oh yeah, that's really gonna. All right. Mint. Where's Tom Cotter at? <laughs> Pretty neat. <laughs> here's the uh, here's the finalists of the day. <laughs> I don't think we've got an MVP, but I think the MVP would probably be the series truck, honestly, at this point, for making it here and, and leading the charge. Does have the look. But uh, yeah, no, we survived. Really great rover day out here on the farm. Doesn't really get more fun, honestly. Next step, we'll have to do some real off-roading and uh, kind of put things to the test for uh, Rover 2.0. But any rovers at Wintergreen or something, but uh, you know, surviving the distance was the big one here. <laughs> All right, that's the uh, that's the conclusion. Only one rover down, impressively, and this one's getting a free ride. It's just a little bit tired, so it's getting a free ride back to Richmond. They got a new starter put in, and we must have roasted the starter with our impromptu diag. I probably have the the noise of death on it. <laughs> so, oh yeah, it was an easy push. But there's better, uh, there's worse places to break down, honestly. So we're gonna follow her back and get it dropped off for some work. Well, I think that's the end of, let's call it Rover Day. Pretty, pretty decently successful. I use that word not so sparingly, but we made it, the truck did fine, got through some fun mud, everyone had a good time. Cindy and Frank survived, Frank's dead. And uh, yeah, I think, I think all the rovers really did great, you know. Mason's rover, starter fried, but you know, stuff happens. That's a known issue. You know, basically we should have brought one with us. It's pretty much consumable. Um, we're gonna head back down 301 uh, and meet it at the shop. So that's it. Um, again, this was the culmination of probably two years of work on these projects to get them up and running to the point where we could actually make it out here. And it was a blast. Again, if you got a project, make sure you stick with it. it sometimes it takes a little more time than you realize, but you know, just keep, just keep at it. And again, with enough money, <laughs> you can pretty much fix anything. But, uh, you know, feel free to please subscribe uh, and follow along for us, the rover adventures that we're having out here. So thanks, guys. Just shoot any, uh, any questions or comments, leave below. And check out my Instagram as well, where I kind of do things uh, a little bit more on a live basis when it comes to all the automotive stuff we're doing on the channel. So thanks. Like any good rover trip, that was a happy ending. <laughs>